Welcome back everyone. So, so the next one now is for you to create your first feature um, um, file basically. So your feature file will be created by right clicking on your feature folder. Right click on your feature folder and then click on add and click on new item. Then make sure you click on spec for because sometimes if in, you might not need to click it if it's other than the spec for context, but it's a good practice to go and click on spec for so that if this doesn't show you now, once you click on it, it shows, then you click on this spec flow. And then let's say you now write the name of that particular feature that we want to, to do. So, and I've already created a form so that we going to use for this particular test. So I would quickly just go in there and then show you the one that we, I thought we are going to, to use. One minute. So let's go to the test. So if you go to blue scan, So we've just created this particular form for the purpose of the of the training. So let's say this particular form is called automation testing form. So and we want to automate it. So and I'll call this particular feature my automation test and my testing form basically. Mm. Let's say those guy. So and that's that's it. So let's say let me put testing on. Okay, so that's my feature that I want to to add. So and from this one now as you can see I've got the template created like that. So and what are the things that I want to test in a normal scenario you put your so in order to be a guru tester, I want to test the blue sky telephone. So this is our business case basically. So now we now have our tag. So as time goes on, as we are going to be using the tag later, but let's say this is our regression suit. This part is part of our regression. So and we can actually add. So this is that so later we'll talk about why we need um, the tags basically but well, we've already added tags so uh, i would just want to say that so this tag you can use it in your continuous integrations and also you can also use it when you are also running your test from here so that you can say i want to run test which is called this particular tag 
So let's say you have 100, 100 tests or 50 tests, or you would have some of them like regression or blue sky based on the feature, so that you can run that particular test that's called that tag, basically. Mm -hmm. And you can tag feature, you can tag a scenario level. You can, you can put your tag also here and say, let's say, I move this one now to yeah. So that means if I have two scenarios, this particular, and I say, please run any test with this um, blue platform, it's going to run you know, all the scenarios in this particular feature. But if I tag it as a feature level, it's only that feature that, as the, if I tag it as a scenario level, it's going to run only that scenario for me. So now, let's say this is my, I can say, valid form submission. So now, so in my given, so let's say I say given and navigate to the form. Okay, so one thing, let's go to the site basically. So you could you could start from the very beginning, right? To say you go to this site and you click on this one and then you continue your testing from there. Or you can as well go directly to this form, basically. So I'm going to go directly to this form and see what, so rather than going from the, so for as a assignment, you should start from Blue Sky Citadel and then click on automation testing. So but I'm going to go here, then I'll try to click on this particular link and then we would go from there so okay all right so let's see I'm going to so now I navigate to the testing form so after that what do I need to do when I go to the testing form let's say okay the first thing I would need to do is to click on send okay type something in here so let's say oh uh, okay this particular form was created for the purpose of the testing I need just to clarify that because in some in, in normal instance that you have a form this would be a readable text basically that that's meaningful like name or something but we left like that so that you know what these phones are called so that we have different objects or elements that you you will see on different forms so that's why we just like that this one is a single line text and this is a select form that you also need to select one object one element and this image i don't think there's any difference between this and the image anyway so this allows you to select multiple so for you to select multiple, you would need to click on control and then select multiple. Or then press the control button and select that one. So then also you have the radio buttons. You have the checklist that you can also check and select the countries, which is similar to the select button basically. But this is more structured. So the date also when you want to select calendar dates and everything, so that is that and also single text. So this is um, similar to that one, you don't need to worry. Paragraph text and you click on you click on submit. That's what we want to focus on tonight. So that this is uh this are um, the most element that you see on different pages of your of your of 
website. So once you are able to automate this, you think this is half done, then the other one will improve from there and also go into the advanced section later. So that will be the focus for tonight. Let's go now on our form. So we're just going to say something, or let's say this is our, we're going to use the same title that is there. So, but in a normal sense, you say, okay, and enter name or something like that. So, well, let's go through, let's just use that one. And so this navigates to the form. So, and in the, and again, so because we are not using multiple given, so we want to see when I enter the single text and so what we want to enter again and I select and I select to do again so I want to enter email also at this point I can let me divide my screen so be faster for me to copy this thing over okay all right so now I enter email and I want to also select multi selector and I want to select the radio list also. checklist and you can look at well as an how I actually choose my verb as you can see when I enter when I select enter select so you need to also look into that so now this is country also and I can say and I select let's say United States, United Kingdom because by default it's the United States, let's say United Kingdom as country. So um so in the date also um, I select so let's say this one maybe so this is a bit tricky so by default is defaulted to this particular uh, what's it called uh, the month so we can say uh, let's select anyone basically so we look into this is will be a bit advanced so we just select anyone basically let's say and I select 12 so let's say I tell it 12 orange so by default it is defaulted to the month so you just need to look for the 12 date or you want to say the fourth and whatever you want to say or you could as well just say okay next month if it's next month that you're looking for the first thing that you're first thing to do is click on this and you go to the next month and you do what you or if you want to go to the previous month that's how to do this then you select 
the particular hit that you want to select specific and then I don't need to do this so this is also similar to this so we just click on submit so then okay and So when I click on the summary button, what happens? You click on the summary button, so you should see this form being submitted, basically. So we need to now verify that this form is submitted, basically. And you can verify that the message is there. And the message. So let's do this now. This is we try to jump ahead a bit, so but that's fine. So this is kind of parameterized one. So for data driven, so we're going to look into that. Um, not extensively today or maybe next week but we'll just start that so right now i am passing this as an argument basically that's where you have it in quotes and the message this message because we want to also validate later that this shouldn't be true it should be false when this but there's no multiple edition on this form so it's going to see by clicking this for well, as time goes on we're going to update this particular form to see that some elements are mandatory they need to fail so we're going to update this form as time goes on so that you will get different error messages so this now for valid some form submission this is what we need to have so that is our feature file already done based on what we have so we now have our scenario done so we finished this one now